Hello and welcome to Universal Love Law. Um, I'm going to start working on the three air houses. Finish this energy out for you guys. This video will be for those who may have a third house stellium um, or maybe going through third house transits, okay? Planets that are trans transiting your third house, okay? Um, ultimately, I want to make this video, I want to use creativity to express uh, the energy signature of the third house so that people who are trying to understand astrology can get a very clear picture of the third house energy, what it uh, tells and uh, what it's all about because a lot of times people do not know how to understand their chart uh, when it comes to their houses and so that's why I'm giving this information so that you can truly understand what these areas of life are and the energy it holds okay so first and foremost the third house is ruled by Gemini and it's mutable air so it deals with the connecting of other connecting with others on a communication level and all forms of information okay so it's a direct link to your childhood and moving forward into your daily uh, areas in which you travel and also uh, the mind that has been developed from early childhood experiences, the mind that has been developed from the information and resources that have been exposed to the third house person. So, uh, remember, if you don't have any planets there, you still have a third house. So look up the planet. I mean, excuse me, look up the sign that rules your third house. And it will also help you to understand uh, the energy of your third house. OK, so remember, uh, the third house deals with our mind in our early childhood and how we process information and how we think. So, of course, you want to take a look at the uh, modality and the element and the sign okay is it masculine um, is it feminine uh, were you receiving knowledge or were you having to go out and seek knowledge okay was it mutable where you know not knowledge was all around there was always someone that was there to explain things was it fixed where you were you know raised in a, a uh, environment that had a very structured or, or a very specific uh, way to learn how to communicate, how to engage with people. Um, and this can be from a very strict, stern military background that forms of information and ways to communicate. It could be in an urban, poverty stricken area where, you know, if your sign in your third house is more fixed, it could be this is the way you guys all kind of um communicated and it's a very um specific way to fit in and to um connect with others and to receive information okay uh, or was it a cardinal okay was it a lot of different kind of people always initiating new forms of uh, information to you because the third house does not just deal with the way we learn how to communicate and talk to each other share um, <clears throat> conversation and things of that nature no the third house deals with forms of information that were around the home whether it was you reading the back of your um um cereal box okay reading the back of your milk carton comic books okay the movie the movies you watch television things that you were exposed to that taught you how to communicate newspapers where you raised around crossword puzzles what forms of intellect were you exposed to as a child because this shapes and molds the way your mind thinks and processes information so especially when you have planets there if you're a third house stellium person it really can help you to understand the transformations and the experiences that you have went through throughout life to really develop this mindset that you have today um, I, I would encourage anyone to, that's looking and seeking to understand um, 
the third house energy or if you have a third house stellium or if you um just want to know more about the third house um link it to the way your mind thinks Rem like really observe yourself as if you're outside of yourself um and think about yourself like how do i think how do i communicate with people you know how do i uh research or how do i get information you know what am i into what is stimmy what stimulates me mentally okay what is my education level this is what you understand when you look at your third house so the opposite of gemini is sagittarius so the third house deals with more elementary middle school high school experiences where as of course the ninth house deals with the higher learning um and college universities and um you know that type of stuff so i'll get to that in another video but for this video it deals with the third house early childhood experiences school environment right uh what how people were gaining and accessing information through school settings okay the way that your teachers would teach you and the way that you learn from your teachers really impact the way you communicate today and the knowledge you have today um another thing about the third house is um it really gives you your your uh swag like you know or your not swag um on a physical level that's more first house but swag on a mental level your your speech your articulate communication style the way you're able to articulate words and put them together and create um your sentences and the structures of your communication getting your points across formulating opinions your thought processes okay uh the third house is a very mental house but it's influenced from the exposure and experiences of early childhood settings what are those places what how were you being taught to communicate in when you were hanging out with your buddies in the neighborhood you know what how was you guys uh speech or did you guys talk with slang did you guys have ebonics you know did you guys talk proper you know what i mean this is third house energy it's literally the way that you communicate and it and it links you want to look at the third house as all forms of communications due to the experiences okay experiences meaning school experiences like going out in the neighborhood exposure to information what signs were out in your neighborhood was it graffiti in your neighborhood okay this really shapes and molds the creative mind that you have okay uh and what you're exposed to it deals with your neighbors who are your neighbors how did they interact with you okay debilitations to your third house can make you have some neighbors that may not be as friendly or kind uh or may be very private you know you can see in your chart what kind of neighbors you have literally by looking at your third house um are you very close net family oriented kind of neighborhood um your siblings connections with your uh older siblings okay understanding uh through the way they taught you what they taught you this is third house energy so the energy of the uh third house would be really projected from your sign there what is the sign that is in your third house because when you see the sign you will see the way people were communicating with you if it's fire if it's water if it's earth if it's air okay uh even down to the element and the modality you want to understand your chart you want to see what planet is there i'm yeah if you have a stellium there you have planets in your third house this really emphasizes the ability to think your ability to communicate it can debilitate your communication okay having some strong saturn in the third house energies can debilitate your ability to communicate get pro your thoughts across okay it can limit you or or cause a stagnation um bring up strict 
you know, home environments. But that I put that information more into my third house stellium video. You can take a look at that. But when it comes to your third house, it deals with your environment. Okay, this environment really helped you to develop the way your mind processes. Um, someone that lives in a village somewhere doesn't have the same exposure to communication and things that um, of someone that is in inner cities, right? Inner cities, there's advertisements everywhere. Uh, there is information everywhere. There's public schools, right? So there's a whole system in the way that people think, learn, and understand information. So when you're able to see if you have like a stellium or if you have planets there, if you are able to learn about yourself, like, wow, I really have a very unique uh, communication style, you know, or I um, it is very hard for me to put my thoughts together. You want to look at your third house or um, I desire to talk about very deep and complex concepts that that's your third house energy it's your mind and the way it functions and the way that you formulate your communication okay um, another thing is it deals with your social activities anything dealing with some type of interaction with others growing up if you were in the after school program this really influenced more energy in your your thought processes this is all third house energy okay uh, transits are very important to your third house. You want to know when there's major, large planetary uh, bodies that are moving through your third house. Meaning, what today, when you look today, you hear this video today, you can see, you can literally look up transits to your third house. Um, there may not be any planets transiting your third house, but if there are, trust and believe they will be influencing your thought processes it will be influencing your ability to formulate clear thoughts and opinions and connect with others and even understand information sometimes our minds get very clouded sometimes we're not able to think clearly but that could really be due to the times uh, that we are in the transits to our third house so you if you're going through something that is debilitating you or, or hindering you on a communication level you're not able to get your thoughts out clearly you want to take a look at the third house transits to uh, that are happening in your chart in uh, time um, and yeah so ultimately uh, when it comes to breaking down the information of the third house it's a very creative um energy and it deals directly with your early childhood experience it's beautiful when you uh can look at your chart and really go back and reflect on your life and see how the third house has been impacted okay um so when you understand why things are happening and why things are playing out in your childhood in certain moments and times, like I remember in my childhood, there were times where I was, you know, going to summer school. These are all social, early social ex experiences, early social activities. Um, and the, the style in which you communicate, my third house is in Gemini. So, of course, I'm naturally a communicator. I have no planets there, but I can bounce off subject to subject. You know, Gemini energy is really known for that. Being a little scatterbrained at times and having a lot of information about a lot of different things. I can go in depth as well because of my Mercury and Scorpio. So, you want to also look at your Mercury um, because the third house is... is ruled by Gemini it is the Mercury house right but you might not have your Mercury there you may have your Mercury in a totally different house so seeing your third house will show you your early childhood experiences in the way you were taught to think and communicate but your Mercury will be the way in which you actually communicate so you may be able to go deep you may be very on the shallow so third house energy ties into mercurian energy ability to analyze information 
um, and understand and connect with others. Also, it can show if a person has some sort of debility, um, disability, mental disability, mental delays, okay? Where insanity, like that type of mental disability would be more in the 12th house, okay, when it comes to insanity or mental breakdowns and things of that nature. Um, but when it comes to the third house, it can it literally talks of disabilities on a uh, mental level dealing with your uh, cognitive development, your mind development, meaning uh, certain forms of your certain parts of your brain may have not fully been developed. Not for you, just saying in general, a person's brain may not have been fully developed to where they have speech delays, okay, cognitive delays. These are associated with third house energies, okay. Imagine a person that has, you know, was in special ed growing up and had a lot of mental disabilities, uh, not being able to understand information and things of that nature. They may have been having some major transits happening in their third house in their early childhood, or they may have been uh, very, um, a lot of, like a stellium energy, having a lot of planets going on in there that are squaring off that can you can literally see disabilities in the chart so the third house will give us experiences to grow and develop our communication and our thought processes our ability to formulate and articulate our words and to communicate in a very clear way to where we're able to impact people you can look at motivational speakers having a very prominent third house energy or or influencers that are based intellectually, like people who talk a lot, you know, or no, or people who jump on others' lives because they're communicating and, you know, giving these uh, ideas and opinions that uh, the masses or the collective really enjoys. This can, this is your third house energy, okay? So ultimately, I hope this information can help one to understand the third house in its totality it's not emotional it's not memories in that sense it can be memories um that trigger your emotions based on your childhood experiences but ultimately it doesn't really deal with the experience itself it deals with more so the learning that happened through those interactions with neighbors with siblings with the material information around your home uh, the signs and propaganda in your neighborhood the news what was influencing you the school settings that you were um, in your neighborhood and what you were learning in the spaces of your early childhood uh, micro kind of influenced level like I hope that makes sense to you all, but thank you so much for tuning in to Universal of Law and peace.